Uh, what I love being about a sniper is actually uh, the challenges of the shot and the challenges of the job itself. Uh, it's, it's normally a pretty long haul to get uh, into the job. Uh, and then once you do get there, it sort of doesn't end until once you've taken the shots. So there's a lot of, uh, so you're making your calculations and taking your different variables. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good challenge. So finding vegetation to blend in with and wearing the proper equipment to get comfortable in the rocks and find that perfect shot. Uh, that's exactly my favorite part about being a sniper uh, is the personal camouflage aspect. I love being able to sneak up on people and them not knowing I'm there and their life is in my hands. Professionally, uh, it's the trading of skills. So um, obviously we have some different things we've picked up and they've picked up some different things. And then also verifying the things you could both do the same, you know, so you know they're optimal. Um, and then yeah, personally is just uh, just hanging out with the guys, you know, uh, US Marine Corps. It's very similar uh, to the Royal Australian Regiment, the way they sort of uh, carry themselves. And so it's always good to uh, get together with the Marines. Oh, the big one for me is that we're, that we're so, that we can yeah. operate together. Yeah. That, for me, the big eye-opening thing in the last three months has been that uh, Australian forces and American forces can operate on the battlefield side by side without any sort of uh, issues. Yep, so I'm Corporal Isaac Morgan and I'm a sniper team leader with the 2nd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. I'm Sergeant Hurley, Scout Sniper Team Leader attached to 2nd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. Cujo 5-1, this is Stalker, stand by for Close in fire support, non-standard, minus one to minus one two, then plus four 